Great to see you all. Thank you for joining us for our very last Tune In Tuesday of the year. I see a lot of familiar names on there. Thank you guys so much for joining us week after week. We've had so much fun with you all and we wanted to end this year with a big bang and a little bit of fun. So my name is Kirsten Kringle Sanchez. I have with me my good friend and coworker, Miss Megan Mary Huffman. Hi, Megan. Hey, Kirsten, how are you? Hey, all you travel advisors out there. Hi, we are so excited to have some fun today. Again, you guys have joined us week after week. If you've enjoyed this, this is the last one for 2020, but we will be back in 2021 in a big way with a lot of great helpful tip, tips and hits. Tips and hints, boy. I got in the egg We're already too to the rhyme me. <laughs> Oh, so as we wind up the year, we thought we'd have a little fun. We talk about some promotional ideas going into 2021. And we thought it would be fun to draw some inspiration from one of our good partners, Dr. Seuss Enterprises, right, Megan? Absolutely. As you guys all know, we have a partnership with Dr. Seuss, and you can find Dr. Seuss on board all of our ships. Even at Christmas time, I think the Grinch comes and shows a special, um, has a special cameo. So Dr. Seuss across the board, you've got everything from our Seussapalooza parade, you've got green eggs and ham, all things Seuss on board. We love this partnership. So today, we thought that we would bring you promotional items via Dr. Seuss titles. And I think, Kirsten, that we're going to go through the top 10 Dr. Seuss travel advisor titles for 2020. And we are going to make this so much fun. Megan, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what made the top 10. So oh. shall, we, shall we just jump into the countdown here? What do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start with number 10. The number 10 top Dr. Seuss travel advisor title, of course, will be after the cat in the hat. And I think you've got the special travel advisor version. That I do. So the 2020 travel advisor version, the advisor in the visor. Yay! So what an appropriate title, right, Megan? I mean, we're talking about promotions and promotional items. That's the perfect title, right? It is. It's the perfect title and it's the perfect time to think about those promotional items. Whether you want to do hats or advisors, think about maybe t-shirts. You know, you can get them easily. You can order them uh, somewhere with a promotional item company, but you could get them as easy as Michael's and do a die cut on there and uh, do a do an iron on screen. It's so, so easy. Um, magnets, I always think about anything magnetic, whether it's your business card on a magnet that your friends and family and potential clients can put on their refrigerators or magnets for the side of the car. Now's the time really to think about all those items and get prepared as we move into 2021 because it's gonna be so hot first quarter and we want your travel advisor names out there everywhere. Even think about masks. Let's get into the act. Let's just go ahead and say masks might be around for a while. So how cute would it be to have your own mask with your agency name on it? So get thinking, you advisors in the visor, and think about promotional items as we move into 2021. I love it, Megan. I, I've seen quite a few travel agent masks out there. And let's mm -hmm. face it, anytime I see someone in a mask, I have to get closer. I'm like, what does that say? What's on your mask? Mm -hmm. Great way to promote yourself, right? Yes, I love it. All right, so let's move on. Number nine. Let's number, see what number nine number is. Nine. Here we go. Number nine is, of course, the all favorite classic, green eggs and ham. And the travel advisor now, version, Kirsten, is? So, of course, had to be updated for 2020. So the 2020 version, green mass and hand sanitizer. <laughs> it's perfect, right? That's about what our year has been, green mass and hand sanitizer. It really but, is. Well, what is it? I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like green mass, mass and hand sanitizer. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> but you know what? At the end, he ended up liking it, right? Absolutely. So, 
I think the promotional takeaway from this one is, you know, you always want to stay up to date on the newest, the latest information. So please always be looking on GoCCL and Carnival.com for the most up-to-date information with the onboard protocols, which have not come out just yet. Um, you also want to know which ships are sailing, when they're starting back up. You want to be in the know. You want to become the expert. You want to share with clients and with your community. I'll tell you right now, I'm actually out of town visiting family, and I have been asked no less than 10 times about when are we going to start cruising and what it's going to look like. Everybody wants to talk about cruising. Make sure you stay in the know. If you're known for being the expert, that's an easy way to promote yourself and pick up business. So make sure you're always staying on top of the most current information. And it's always easy to find. That so it is. Here. Eight. Yes, let's go on to the next title. I love this. You know, I actually have to get this book because my son is uh, graduating um, high school this year. So we're all in the middle of the college. And I know this is a great book to get um, seniors when they graduate. But it is the very popular, Oh, the Place You'll Go. Then, of course, it had to be updated for 2020, right? So the 2020 version of the Dr. Seuss, Oh, the Places You'll Go. Oh, the places you won't go, right? I mean, it's I kind know. of kind of insane. It's so <laughs> but, <sad. laughs> but on the flip side, we have gone a lot of different places, right? We have, and here's the places that you actually can go and get some things done. We know you're going to go in your living room, in your dining room, in your bedroom, your home office, your kitchen. We know you're going to practically be everywhere in your house. And what can you do when you're there? The promotional takeaway here is go ahead and start writing some handwritten notes. Get a, a, a package of uh, note cards, or um, you can go to the Dollar Tree and get uh, great cards to just um, wish people well, and start doing handwritten written notes. Sit down and write cards to your clients. They will be absolutely blown away to get something handwritten. The emails are wonderful and we've got great tools for you there, but when you can take those extra five minutes, either in the living room or the dining room or in the bedroom or in the office or in the kitchen and take just a couple minutes, set aside maybe 30 minutes a day and write 10 cards or notes to your clients, that's going to be a great difference. And you know what? It doesn't have to be a sales. It can just be, I want to make sure that you're doing well. And I look forward to planning that perfect vacation for you in 2021. I'm ready when you are. And you can just get out them, get out there and wish them well. Kirsten, this is a great thing. Even though we can't go places, we can go inside our house and get some great stuff done with writing cards I mean to clients. That we can. And I think that was kind of the positive takeaway. I have more time to do things that I feel like I've ever had. I'm at home. I have the time to sit down and write these. Um, you may remember if some of you were on some of our earlier Tune In Tuesdays, we had a talk with Karen Beasley, who is one of our travel advisors, and she sends condolence cards based on when their cruise was canceled. But you know, it can be something fun. It can be a thank you. It could be a happy new year. Hey, we're back to cruising or get excited. Cruising is coming back in a big way. So it doesn't just have to be a thank you or, or a birthday card. It can be an any reason type of card. I think we're both really excited about this one, right? I know, really. Well, and I'm going to do this. I've already got my stack and I'm going to be getting my cards out just to let people out there know that I'm thinking about them. Oh, nice, very nice. nice. Okay, we've got number seven title coming up. Now, this is great, Dr. Seuss. I think we all have had this Dr. Seuss um, title somewhere in our own books or if we have kids, A, B, C, the amazing alphabet book. And for 2020? So the ABC has been updated a little bit for 2020. 2020 title ABC, always book carnival. Yay! I think that's fantastic advice, right? Yes, I know. We should just stop there. There it is. <laughs> always book carnival. Done. <laughs> that's the whole point done. of the, the webinar today. Always book carnival. So let's talk about that. So I talked about the health and safety updates that are on GoCCL. GoCCL is your go-to resource. We have put a lot of time and energy and money into GoCCL Navigator, trying to make it easy for you. And obviously this year we've had quite a bit of hold time going on. So people have been on hold. It takes a lot of time. We put all 
all of those resources right there at your fingertips with GoCCL. You can quickly and easily make a booking online. And this does help when you are talking to new clients. If you've got a new prospect, you've got that information right at your fingertips. You can look it up, hold an option for them, and easily send them a confirmation or a quote. So always think of GoCCL first. Call the call center when you need to get FCCs moved or you know if there's another issue, but always make those bookings on GoCCL first. We put all those resources there, trying to make it easier for you to do business because certainly time is money and we don't want you spending all of that time on the phone. Absolutely. We want it very easy for you to always book Carnival. Maybe. All right, number six, let's move on to the Lorax. It's the number six title and our travel advisor title is? 2020 version, the Lorax updated just for this year, the Clorox. <laughs> I think this was one of our favorite uh -oh. ones. <laughs> so the Clorox. And so where can we take this and how can we use this in promotional thoughts and our message out there? And it is basically to keep a clean database. We were just talking about writing cards. Kirsten was talking about making sure you're touching base with your guests that have the FCCs and uh, being able to do quotes in GoCCL. But having a clean database is so important. You wanna make sure that all the guest names are in there and birth dates that can also help you if you're gonna be sending birthday cards, anniversaries, maybe names of pets or kids. Now's the time, cause you've got a little bit more time on your hands to get to know your clients a little bit better and make sure that you're using that clean database. Take the time. If you know that somebody no longer in the database for some reason, you can go ahead and make that determination. You can go ahead and add things like the bucket list destinations. Wouldn't that be a great email to send out to your database and say, hey, during this time, I'm taking some extra efforts to clean up my database. And I would love to know what your number one bucket list destination is and see how many responses you get. You can update it in the database, right? So this is really important as we move into the very busy wave season that we know is going to come having the time to having this clean database is great. And the other thing you can clean up, we didn't put it on here, but I just thought of, and I know it's a great idea, is your email inbox. Go ahead and start deleting the emails. Get the sales on one side, get all of those emails you don't need, all of the holiday rush emails for the sales. <laughs> just go ahead and get that all ready and get a nice clean email box so you are ready to start promoting when 2021 comes. 2021. And you know what, Megan? You talk about those bucket list, list destinations and two of them immediately popped into mind. I don't know if all of our advisors on the call saw this, but in summer of 2022, Carnival Pride is going to Europe. I know Europe is on a lot of people's bucket list. I know I'm excited to get back to Europe at some point and 2022 feels like the perfect year. Australia, we talk Australia a lot, right? What an awesome destination. Yes. Very We've got cool. those bucket list dreams out there for our guests, for sure. Yeah, we do. All right, we're down to number five. Oh, we're halfway through. I can't believe it. We're halfway through. Okay, so the number five, of course, hop on pop. So carnival version for 2020. This one is, I actually think this one is one of my favorites. Hop on pop, hop on bolt. I know. Did you guys see Friday? We actually took possession of the Mardi Gras. So Mardi Gras is now officially in the fleet. We are so excited. And even Santa was excited too. So this is a picture over in the shipyard in Finland. Santa actually took a ride on Bolt, which will be the first ever roller coaster at sea. It's 800 feet of track. It goes up and around the funnel. It's actually an electric car for two riders. It looks like Santa didn't want to share in this picture. <laughs> But let me tell you, so why is this important? Mardi Gras, celebration, our 50-year anniversary sailings, Europe, Australia, this is all exciting stuff. So anytime we talk about Mardi Gras or anytime you all talk about Mardi Gras, you're going to attract new people. People are excited. I'll tell you, anytime I see a, an article that features Mardi Gras, I'm clicking on it. I want to read. I want to see what's going on. So the more you can talk about these new exciting things coming, the more business you're going to attract. So always stay positive and be looking at these fun opportunities. We're so excited about Mardi Gras. We really are. Easy to and promote. She, and you know what's awesome, Megan? She's open through April of 2023. 
Isn't that great? Go ahead and let's get some family reunions together for this summer, even next holiday. You know, let's go ahead and get the promotions, get some group space booked because so many people can't be together this holiday season, Kirsten, and like next next season. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. I'm not going to give that away, but hop on Bolt for sure. And that's number four. Number four. Number four. Another very popular one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. All right. What could 2020 be? What could it be, folks? One pause, two pause, old pause, no pause. Oh, I actually like this one a lot. Definitely. No more pause. No pause. No more pause. We like that. Old pause. They're gone. We're going to looking forward to the no pause. That's right. So our takeaway here is to make sure that you get ready to sail again, whether you are or get your guests ready, get your clients ready to sail again. Those FCCs are right there. They are so, so easy. Stay with them. Make sure you are continuing to follow up on those FCCs. Remember the FCC follows the guest. So you need to make sure you're following up with your clients to make sure you're getting that FCC booked for them. We have a terrific toolkit on GoCCL. If you haven't looked at it, it's under our uh, agent tools on GoCCL. It's a whole toolkit. It helps you with um, wording for phone call scripts. It helps you with email wording and also a postcard if you'd like to go ahead and send out. So really utilize that FCC toolkit. If you don't have, um, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, if you have questions about it, reach out to your BDM. We are definitely here to help you utilize this toolkit because we want you to get those FCCs back on. And if they are just a little bit leery, go ahead and get them rebooked. Let's go ahead and make that push. Get them that FCC so they can have their onboard credit, whether it's $300 for the shorter vacations or the $600. That is so much money to use on board. Don't let them give that up. Get those FCC rebooked because we're going to have no more pauses, right? That's right. An easy business. This is the easiest way to put business on the books. Don't forget about those FCCs. We love this one. This is our favorite thing to talk about. FCCs, I think we could talk about them for hours. Yes. Yeah. But we, we have three other books. Oh my goodness, we do. I know, okay. I know, I know. We got, got to move along here. Let's see, person. let's see. So, okay. so Horton who hears a who. All right, 2020 version. And actually, Megan, I got to tell you, I'm surprised that this one isn't number one because I think we've all spent a lot of time doing this. So Horton hears a who? Horton hears a hold. I know I've heard plenty of hold. I'm pretty sure the rest of you have heard plenty of hold as well. <laughs> so Horton hears a hold. I mean, I think we've all spent a lot of time on hold and you all can probably recite the hold music, but do you ever stop and listen to it? Right, Megan? I mean, we kind of leave it on in the background. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 I hear that. I think that if you did stop and listen, you can really get some great ideas from listening to the hold music. I think you should share some of them with them, Kirsten, because, of course, number one, I know you've memorized them. But number two, I think we could give them some great ideas just from our hold music. All right, folks, if this one sounds familiar, think about it. If a dolphin became your best friend, it would be your BDFF, best dolphin friend forever. Get it? <laughs> I get it because you can look in your inner circle. Look for your best friend dolphins, your best friends and family. Really look at your inner circle for networking ideas. Don't give up on that networking. Keep a close contact with them because that is going to be, again, so close to you, a great idea to keep in touch, not only with your clients, but your friends and family and your best dolphin friends forever. There you go. Here's another one. Mexico introduced chocolate to the world. You can say gracias the next time you're there. Gracias. Always gracias. say gracias to your clients for making bookings with you. Make sure you're thanking your clients. Make sure that they know that you are open to referrals. Maybe you can do a loyalty program or a referral. You know, the best compliment a client can give you is a referral. And don't be afraid to ask them that. But of course, you always want to say gracias first to thank them for their business. You can say oh, some gracias the next time you're there. I like saying that one. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> Thinking about a fun carnival cruise, need a justification? Studies show that vacations lead to less stress and less stress leads to more tan lines and more tan lines lead to more stories that begin when I was in the Caribbean. 
Oh, I didn't know if you were going to get through that one. I love the tail light story. It gets longer. It gets longer and longer. So this is a great reminder to use social media. Go ahead and post those stories. You can post your own vacation stories. Encourage your clients to post their vacation stories. Use social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever it is to tell your story. And they can begin with tan lines. They can. People love talking about their vacation and their tan lines. They do. All right. I saved the longest one for last. Okay. I'm ready. Fun quiz. How many different ways are there to splash someone in Carnival Waterworks? Four, seven, nine, or 479? The correct answer is 479, approximately. Hey, between the 81 foot long racing slide, the four deck high twister water slide, all the crazy stuff in the spray park and the drain pipe with its major swirl of a finish, we're talking some serious splash potential here. And that's fun for any age. You are a rock star. There are actually 479 ways to get in front of your potential clients as well. So remember that however you are getting in front of your clients, there is a multiple of ways to do that. Whether you are making a splash with promoting your business, um, on social media, in your neighborhoods, with your friends and family, staying as visible as possible is so important. So the next time that you're listening to these hold musics, think about these ways to keep you kick-started and in front of your clients, reaching out to your BDF dolphin friends, <laughs> saying gracias from some chocolate, making some stories with your tan lines, or just getting in front of your clients and your potential prospects with over 479 ways. And if you want even more things to talk about on social media, think about all those things that Kirsten said, mm -hmm. and that we talk about in the hold music as ideas to share the twister water slides and all the other fun things. Make a splash. You can make a it. splash. That's great, right? Yes. But even more exciting, we're down to number two. We are. How the Grinch stole Christmas. You know, this one, 2020 version, and very timely here, right? Because we're right at Christmas time. So, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, 2020 version. How the COVID stole cruises. Isn't that the truth? You know, the Grinch is a mean one, but I think COVID's even meaner. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so Megan, with some perseverance, your small cruise business will grow three sizes larger, and then the true meaning of cruises will come through, and you'll find the strength of 10 Grinches plus two. Right? You will, so you have to... <laughs> You will, and you have to stay positive and stay focused and stay determined because the Grinch might have stole 2020 cruises, but he's not going to steal 2021. He can't steal your positive attitudes. He can't steal the love for cruising and how badly we want to get back on the ships, how badly you want to get back to selling cruises for your clients, that your clients want to get back on the ships. So no, sir, Mr. Grinch, you're not going to steal 2021. And it's all about the attitude. That it is. I had a travel advisor tell me 2020 stink, stank, stunk. But stunk. you're right. He's not going to steal it in 2021. He won't. So let's get out there together. Let's do it. Everybody wants to do business with someone who's positive and upbeat. You know who wants to do business with someone who's, who's a Debbie Downer? That's right. No Debbie Downers here. No Debbie okay. Downers here. No. All right. We're down to number one. Here we go. I'm so excited. I think that we have had everybody stay on. No one's dropping off because they were very suspenseful on what number one was going to be. Oh, Fox and I'm glad they stayed around. This one is going to be a fun one. It is. Fox in Sock. So Fox in Socks, a book of tongue tanglers. The number one. Drum roll, everyone. I hear you in your house is doing the drum roll. Views on cruise, a year of brain tanglers. <laughs> Megan, this better one, sit down for this one. I know this one actually blew me away. Um, I did sit down and read a little bit of it, and I can see why it's number one. There's so many great tips and takeaways from this one. You know, I thought it might be fun. Maybe we could read a few excerpts from this one and hear what Dr. Seuss has to say with his views on cruise. I think that's a great idea, Kirsten. Yeah, so hopefully you guys are all up for this here. Hang with us. Get ready. This one's a wild ride. So... Here's the first page. Let's take a quick read here. Cruise views, cruise views, news views, 
Views on cruise, news to use. Views from cruise on news to use. Use news on cruise, views and view news and use cruise. Huh, hmm. that one's really interesting. It is. There's a lot of cruise, there's a lot of views, and there's a lot of news. So what are we going to think about this? What we're going to think is that keep on top of the news, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you are staying updated on the top of GoCCL.com or the top of Carnival.com. Both give you the access to the latest and the greatest news. And it will be changing. So keep your views on cruise and the news with the top health and sailing updates and make sure that you are going to these sites to get the most accurate information. There's lots of people posting things out there. There's lots of different news sites out there, but that is where you will always find at the top of GoCCL or the top of carnival.com. That is where you're going to find our official statements, news, and views on cruise. You know, Megan, I think you summed that up perfectly. So you should, you should look for your views on cruise from reputable news. I like right? it. There yeah, we go. Absolutely. Maybe we just came up with a new one. News. Yeah, let's see what else Dr. Seuss has to say. Okay. Ships with crew come, ships with fun come, ships with crew and fun and sun come. Look here, look here, advisors, look here. Let's do sails with crews and sun. Let's do sails with ships and fun. Well, I think this talks about cruise and ships and fun and sun. And do you want to know what I know? I know that we've got some crews coming to some ships. They're moving some things around. We are very, very positive. We've got ships. In some of our docks, Miami has had a sighting of three ships mm -hmm. or even more. So we know that we really are. Look here, look here, advisors. We are getting ready to sail in 2021. So we need you right there with us and stay focused because you need to get ready now. If you no. wait till 2021 to get ready, you're going to be behind. So look here, look here, get ready now. You know, you did the look here, look here. Well, let's do the last two lines together. Let's, let's do, do sales, sales with cruise and sun. Let's do let's sales do with sales ships with and fun. Yay. <laughs> yes, Debbie, let's do all of that. All right, let's 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 see what else Dr. Seuss has to say. Boy, that was a tongue twister in itself. Oh, good. First, I'll make a quick crew trip, trip post. Then I'll make a quick fun trip post. You can make a quick sun trip post. You can make a quick ship trip post. And check this out, my fun advisors. Views on ships and ships on cruise. Cruise on fun with cruise and sun. Cruise and sun with news to use. Ha, huh, I think he was talking about Facebook. What do you think, Megan? Who knew Dr. Seuss knew about Facebook so many years ago when talking about these posts? So use Facebook. Use Facebook to post positive messages. Do you know that we have got an excellent post on the Mardi Gras photos from our CIA team? And you can go ahead and take that post and share it right to your own social media. That's a great way. You want to look for those resources. Adolfo's Facebook page is another way to look for those posts. Don't recreate the wheel. Go ahead and share what we've already done out there for you. We want to make it easy. You can share the post. You get involved. You get it out to your friends and family and clients and new prospects. Those are the way. The other thing you can think about when you're looking at posts and things and great fun cruise news that you can share is our Away to Go with Carnival. You will see a compass at the very, very bottom of carnival.com and you will see that this is a blog style articles and you can share them very easily to social media. That is one of my most favorite places to go because there's articles on all kinds of stuff. And you're really kind of sharing the cruise and sun with news to use. Yeah, you are. And I think what an, what better way to get new clients than social media? I mean, it's it's virtually free, right? Virtually free. Virtually free. I so, love that. Kind of like our guys' they, burgers, but they're free. They are. <laughs> they're really free. <laughs> <laughs> they're not calorie free. But they're, they're not free. calorie free. No, no. Oh, I could have one right now. So go out there and make a quick fun trip post. Let's Say that do it right now, guys' burgers. <laughs> All right, let's see what else Dr. Seuss has for us. Now we come to groups and gathers. Try to say this if it matters. Fun and cruise groups, new in sun gathers. All fun groups cruise, all sun groups gather. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New groups, two groups, whose groups? Use groups. Wow, are you kidding me, Kirsten? 
Bruce, this is perfect. Dr. Seuss is so smart. Who knew it would be so relevant in today's era? Remember that we were talking a little bit before and I said, go ahead and look at those Mardi Gras groups, get them booked for next year. Go ahead and get any of your groups booked. Maybe holiday time 2021, family reunions for 2022, spring breaks for 2022, go ahead and get it out there. You can book the groups further out. Remember you have the 60 days just for free promoting before any money is due on the group. And you have to remember so many families cannot be together this holiday. Don't let 2021 go by without them planning their holiday gathering for 2021. You be that hero that can get their group planned. So when they're talking via Zoom this holiday, they can all say next year we're going to be in person and we're going to be on that carnival cruise. Groups are amazing. It's a great way to get started and promote in 2021 and beyond. Great way to grow your business, right, Megan? Yes, because who's group? Use group. Exactly. Use group. And use even group. in 2021, if there's still some hesitation, we're open through 2023. That's get, right. Get them booked. Get yours. Want them to be use group. group now. We want to use groups. <laughs> use groups. Yep. All right. Speaking of which, okay, so the next page here. Who sells used groups? Few sell used groups. Who sees who sells used groups? We see who sells used groups. Who sells? Brews sell. Brews and shoes and zoos and loose sell. Who sells brews groups? You sell brews groups. Shoes and zoos and loose sell used groups? Yes, it's true. Of course they do. And you know who else sells groups? Chris, yeah, you the best. <laughs> yes. But this is a great way to think about where you can partner with other companies and organizations to sell groups because you could sell a group to Lou or zoos or brews or shoes partner with a local brewery partner with a local restaurant whatever it might be think about that maybe uber eats can go out there use other organizations and businesses for cross promoting cross marketing and potential possible groups megan did you say use others to sell used groups <laughs> i think <Exactly. you're> that. <laughs> yes it's true of course they do Yes, it's true. Of course they do. <laughs> All right, let's move on. I know we're a little short on time here, so let's try to get through the rest of this book here. Ah, I like this one. Cruise shows, business grows. Oh, what a party of fun advisor throws ships with bows or bows and sterns. Facebook live for all to learn for all that learn will want to book and you will earn if they just look. And you know where they're going to look on your virtual cruise events and party. So this is exactly what you need to do. Our travel advisors throw the best fun advisor parties and it can go along with this theme. You can do it on Facebook Live. You can do it on Zoom, however you have it out there. And Kirsten, you know, we have another toolbox. Uh, we have another tool kit in our toolbox under travel advisor tools on go ccl and it's our virtual cruise night so we have a presentation you can use we have an invitation we have um uh, an outline that you can use so many terrific tools for our virtual cruise event go and look at it and create your own party don't wait to plan them and schedule them until next quarter because people are going to already have them planned. Plan them now, get on the calendars, let them know fun cruise parties are happening and they're gonna to wanna to join. Do save the dates, plan them now. Be ahead of the game for your cruise fun parties. Because and once we start sailing, Megan, everyone's gonna to wanna to do them, right? Now's the time. Exactly. Yeah. And, and you will learn it, they just look. I truly believe that. Absolutely. They just need to see how much excitement is out there and they're gonna be ready to book. Absolutely. And you can bring it to them, guys. You can. All right, we're closing it up. We're closing it up. So let's just make a quick review. Cruise and news and views to use. Crew and fun and ships and sun. Trip post, ship post, sun post, done. Groups and gathers. Use groups matter. Lose and brews will sell. Use cruise. Business grows from your cruise shows. Fun cruise bookings overflows. Travel advisors, our game is done here. Thank you for a lot of fun here. Thank you for the year of love. Let's all be glad it's almost done. <laughs> Travel advisors, it is the year of love. We really appreciate every single thing that you do. We appreciate the things you do today, what you did yesterday. This entire past year has been so hard, but we could not have done it without you. And we truly hope that bringing Dr. Seuss to our presentation today gave you some great insight, some great inspiration to go out there, listen to our old music, or go find some groups with Lou and shoes, or go 
and hop on Bolt. There's so many different things that you can use to continue the success that we're going to have in 2021. We're going to be next to you. We are your partners. We know we are in it together. We're going to do this together. We thank you so much. Kirsten, thanks for putting this amazing presentation together. I love being here with you and all of our amazing travel advisors. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for all the love this year. Travel advisors rock. Yay. Bye. Thank you all.